All right, so Amumu against Rengar. This is more of a difficult matchup, especially because Rengar just does a lot of damage early on. Like a lot of damage. So he can definitely win a lot of 1v1s and play very aggressive into me. That's why I have to go Aftershock into this guy. If you're placing, a, a, sorry, playing against tanks like Ramus, Zack, all that type of stuff, then Conqueror is better. Alright, that's a free kill. I'll take it. I'm gonna start red here. And clear up. I think that's the least likely scenario for Rengar to invade me. Because I think he starts red, clears down. That's what I would do on Rengar. So for that reason, he's going to most likely run this way and maybe cheese me on here. If he goes for my blue, then he goes for my blue. But I can get the best leash for my bot lane here as well. So this is what I'm going to go for. So yeah, against tanks, you go... Or sorry, against like one-shot champs like Rengar, you go Aftershock. Against tanks on just tanky stuff that doesn't really one-shot you, you go Conqueror. Secondary tree, still on Ultimate Hunter for the ultimate cooldown. So I'm going Sunfire, which currently is definitely the most broken version of uh, of playing a Mumu for sure. The thing is though that Sunfire isn't, or sorry, Leandris isn't much weaker than Sunfire. People definitely underestimate Leandris a little bit too much, I think. Sunfire is definitely just strong, but Leandris is a very, very good replacement for the moment. It gets nerfed, and I hope it gets nerfed, but this game we're going Sunfire. Alright, so Rengar is just gonna do his top three camps like he usually does. I would imagine, unless he goes for like a cheese play, which would be a little surprising. I'm just gonna clear through my jungle. It's gonna be quite like just fast. You can start red, you don't have to start blue. Just got what I'm showing right now. On the red side, you just have to be a little bit more careful with your mana, really. That's all it is. That dies. I'm gonna take a second point in E for more damage reduction. He's currently on his Raptors, which means he might invade me. I think he may go for the invade here with the way he was pathing. Let's see what happens here. I need to keep my eyes out here for this. Just be very watchful of this. I'm gonna walk here, play it extremely safe, hit that plant. And then kite it into the bush here for extra safety. There he is. I'm gonna die here now. So I I don't have my I my set. I, okay. Yeah. I tried, mate. All right. So that is unfortunate. That is kind of what I was pinging for. This guy's rental plan. Maybe I should have just spammed the assist ping more though. And this is the thing that can, can get you countered as a Mumu. Which honestly is fine. I'll take this. I don't really mind. Uh, in this situation like this, if I had Q, I would have been okay against that guy. Mm, let me just mute this guy real quick. Uh, I would have been okay against that guy if I, if I took Q. Also, I, if I smited him, I would have still died to him most likely. That's the issue, because I would, had no way of proking my Aftershock at the moment. Which is a bit of a problem. But this is fine, I actually get behind now. So I can just um, play from behind and not just get a straight lead out like I do most games. So this is perfectly fine. Just show you how to play with a Mumu from behind and we should be good. All I gotta do now is just play defensive against this Rengar. He might just go for the invade again, which would be the smart play for him to do. I'm still not level 4 yet, so if he's like waiting here or something, that would be the ideal play for him right now. All I really gotta do to fix this is just farm, because I farm quicker than him. He's gonna back rush his Tiamat. He got double scuttle and he got a kill on me, which is a big, big lead. But that's completely fine. Gonna keep my smite. Right now, I'm just gonna keep going. I can kill. I can clear towards topside and go for the gank on Yorick potentially. So just gotta play this out. Play as farm heavy as possible. I'll, I'll outskill the Rengar. I'll do more later on, so that's fine. Oh, there we go. A little bit more damage than I wanted on this one. The Gromp's gonna heal me here, so I can just clear the Gromp, smite the Gromp as well, and then take the plant over the wall to gank the top laner. That's what I'm gonna try. Because he has the wave frozen pretty well. 
He might be pinging me to gank, which I will gank, but I'm going to clear this first. Now I'm going to move here. This plant is up. Is this warded? It's, we have to go. Okay, wait, Rengar's here. I have to go out of the Rengar's range there. Ah, that's so annoying, man. The Rengar was actually chilling right there. That's pretty... Like, that's well played from him, I guess. My set should never have ulted the guy to that direction. That was a really big misplay. That's a really big misplay. Because he, he basically just screwed me over. Because I, I had nowhere to go at that point. Rengar jumped on me. If he waited and actually ulted the Rengar away, that would have been a much better play. He ulted way too early there. We're still on an okay spot. It's not too bad. It's just like more of a bad, like a more of a bad early game in which I can play around. It's not that bad, but this really shows you that like the early matchups for a Mumu aren't that great if you like played aggressive on. I guess I should have played more defensive on the initial blue and just given him my blue buff because I knew he was coming. Uh, at least I can farm my entire bot side. I'll just go back to top side again, which is, should be okay. He got enough leaps off on me to get there. Like, I probably shouldn't have wasted my flash. I can just do this. Take red. Take my top side camps once again. He's going to have done the top scuttle for sure. There would be no reason for him to leave that up. So he definitely has that covered. He's probably going to just ult the set again soonish. I could just look to go to go ult gang bot lane. I think I will. So I have a feeling Rengar's is going to be topside again. Gonna ping that I'm going to come there with my ult. Yeah, yeah, that's real. I get it. I have ult now. So even if Rengar counter ganks, we probably still win that with my ultimate. So we should be good. I right, just sweep drink for the, for the sake of it. And let's go in. Really annoying. Really, really annoying. That's a terrible engage. They should have waited for me to get closer. I guess just still chill here. I mean, honestly. Really? Alright, Rengar's gonna come soon now. I will die here soon. Damn. Right, that, that cost me quite a bit. You just gotta hook him, mate. Alright, I guess I'll stun him. Alright, just do this. Nice stun right there. Get the Rengar on this one if possible. I guess I have to assess this guy. I'm not gonna walk towards that bush because I really don't want to. I'm fucked up. I missed my Q. Because we can just finish the Drake here. Our Mumu ultimate is just way too good. There we go. That's very nice. I kind of had a feeling Rengar was doing the, the dragon because there would be really no reason for the Thresh, the Thresh to make a play like that otherwise. It was really greedy on his part. Mind you, these are just diamond players, right? So it's just like, I don't know. It's not like they're terrible. They shouldn't be, at least. This is really like the turnaround point. You just get that ultimate at some point and you're fine. Now I'm just gonna start powering up from here. I can just full clear right now and I should be able to buy my mythic quite soon after clearing my jungle camps in this situation. So Rengar did have a really, really good lead. But, alright, now if my bot lane doesn't do that, that's a bit throwy. That's less ideal. If it could definitely hurt me a lot later in the game. So this could be a problem. I will have my ultimate quite soon, so I could just go and collect my bounties on the bot lane again. Here in a second. If I just flash ult them out of a, out of a situation, they'll just guarantee die. Or if Pike actually makes a good engage, then we should be fine as well. Alright, I'm gonna have to give up Scuttle again, because Rengar is just stronger. I have a feeling he has his Eclipse finished at the moment, so I need to be careful of that. He's top in, actually. Okay, interesting. Let's get these a little bit more together. I can't help top lane right now, there's no way. There's no way he lives through this. What the hell is going on right now? I, maybe I should have moved. I didn't expect him to live for that like extremely long. Actually, I could just go do Rift Herald right here. I don't think this Cassidy should be doing what he's about to do here. This is a really stupid move. Right, he didn't. That's good. I don't think Rengar's gonna go here. I think he's gonna go more, for more so for Bolt Scuttle, so I should just be able to pick up a free Rift Herald. My set has TP up in 14 seconds. We can just go for top turret. 
Now he has his eclipse cover finished indeed. He probably will not check me here, right? That'd be very weird. There we go. I'm just gonna move up to get the turret. I have ult ready, I have flash ready. I'm just gonna pop the Rift Herald right now. Move away. This side, Rift Herald's gonna bounce and this turret's gonna die instantly. I just need my set to catch up real quick. Mm, okay, the Rengar and Lissandra insta ran. Cassidy stick there. I guess I went too early, that's my bad, probably. I went a little too early on that one. I was kind of expecting the set to be a bit faster with his TP running there. He could have just ran up. He didn't have to take the wave or at anything at all because the Rift Herald was going to kill the turret. So that's a bit unfortunate. All right, in this situation, I'm going to have to go for my uh, Steel Cap Smith. Uh, sorry, my Steel Cap Boots here against that Rengar. Either way, I'm fine. I still have ult. Or my ult's going to be back in 50 seconds. Rengar is like right here. Rengar ulted me. I was expecting Rengar to be bot lane, to be honest, but I think a Rift Herald use kind of just gave my position away. And since Set didn't go for the kill on that guy fast enough, I just kind of got into an awkward position. Which is fine. I'll have my Flash ult in 30 seconds. I think Rengar's gonna just go gank bolt here in a second here. This is all good. Like, this is a perfect gameplay, to be honest. I'm not getting too fed. It's gonna not really go my way in the early game. I'll turn this around, though. This shouldn't be that much of an issue. They should definitely not do this. They are going to die if they do this. I have my ult in 10 seconds. This is all good. Alright, let's clear the red and then walk bot lane. I have ult and flash. Just gonna quickly clear this camp right here. I don't want to smite this, so I really just want to clear this. I have a feeling Rengar's gonna be in the bot bush or something. Alright. I oh he's 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 on Raptors. This is fine. I just need any good engage. That's perfect. Don't, please just don't mess this up. That's all I really ask. All right, perfect. And get this guy on the edge as well. Give him Pike another kill. Perfect. There we go. That's just the engage you're looking for. If you have a flash ult like this, ganking bot lane is by far the smartest move. We want to go for Drake here. Drake is definitely the play. Drake. Oh, God. My bot lane is griefing me a little bit. Bot lane. Are you kidding? They actually go for the turret instead of moving with Drake here. That's really unfortunate. Hello? This guy actually just... Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. They really just hard through. Actually hard through. That bot lane actually went for the turret instead of getting a free dragon here. If Rengar collapses on me there, he, he should just insta-die. Because there is no way he should be able to do much. I actually should have bought more items, but now I'm going to have to run here. No, he just got dragon already. It's kind of disgusting. Going for that turret right there was the, the biggest misplay ever. They should have just ran to the dragon instantly. Rengar is really, really strong, so he just instantly killed me at that point. I could have CC'd him down. We could have killed him slowly. Or not slowly, pretty fast at that, if my bot lane followed me there. But they didn't. So that's a bit unfortunate right there. Alright, they got the Drake. Kassin is apparently taking my wolves. I don't know why. What the hell are you doing this? This actually troll. I'm smiting this. Is this up? It is up. Nice. I guess I ward this here. I'm gonna take as much farm as I can still. I need to get my demonics pretty quickly here. I'm in a pretty bad position this game, so it's definitely not ideal. But I can definitely turn this around. I just need my team to kind of listen to me at some point, which they haven't been doing with that bot lane turret play. Like, that was really weird. And they're also just straight losing the fight now. Alright. 
Is this plant up? If this plant's up, it's actually pretty good. It's not. Oh, gee, wonder how that happened. You literally gave him a lead. Go in, go in, go in. What is this guy doing? Wait. Uh, she did, like, reset. Oh, okay, well, that's unfortunate for me. I just wasted my ultimate there. I thought the Lissandra was going to come in on that E. Am I going to get this guy? Probably not. Oh, I did get him. Okay, good. I thought the Lissandra E was going to finish. That's why I ulted. Because then I would have locked her down instantly as well. Oh, well. I'm really, I'm really just unfortunate that they went for the turret instead of the dragon there. If they followed me, that would have been fine. Well, should be fine anyway, though. I'm gonna run... I think I go bot lane here. Probably. Where are we going? Let's see. She just has to walk up a little bit here. You didn't E in time. Are you joking me? She lost vision. That doesn't work now, mate. You messed up. Where is this guy going? Are you kidding? Oh, kill this guy. I have ult in four. I can't ult right now. And now I can ult. Ah, uh, that's so annoying. I like the reason I couldn't ult there is because he's just insta Ws. Ah, man. God damn it, set. You had ult as well. This is disgusting. How the hell do you still have your ultimate after that? You just ult a Rengar there straight away, right? I would imagine. Interesting. Definitely not being made easy for me in this situation with the way that my team is helping. Like, not at all. It's just gonna be a higher death game. I think I'll still win this. Just gotta get to the war more towards the late game stage because look at this we have two sunfires on our team sunfire is the most broken item in the game he's gonna die there on bot lane he shoot all in the vein this is a good play and then go over here he needs to go there you need to... all right he's gonna die now he's actually just inting by not leaving i guess he wanted to turret that badly that's fine i'm just gonna full clear through my jungle real quick Right, this Ezreal is commuted. And that's a no and insta hide. Alright. The Rengar is a little strong at the moment. He has 11 kills. Been all made a bit easy for him. Guess I should have respected him more on my blue invade, but yeah. Yorick dies here, right? Yeah, okay, good. And, uh, we can f dragon. I have flash ult. I would ideally like to fight this dragon if possible. I think Ezreal's just gonna be 10 years too late for the fight to even happen. They're just gonna do it before anything else. It's just control ward. Kill Rengar, thank you very much. Just straight up Mumu things. I'm just tanking right now. Just stun the vein. I need assistance on the vein right now. Just doing things. Doing a Mumu things. We're good. Let's go Drake. We need someone to base. It is all good. Okay. I think I may have accidentally turned my W off throughout that fight. Ah oh, damn. He actually got the top third. Uh, the top in hip completely. We did win that fight though, which is really good for us. Wait, did I buy the right item? I don't know what... Yeah, okay, I didn't. No, okay, good. No, that's a yikes. Yeah, he's actually gonna fucking die. This Cassidy needs to be way more careful. Actually, he does have some health, but... Okay, that's the dead one. Alright, Cassidy can have blue now. Right, actually, Ezreal takes blue. I guess that doesn't matter. There's no real difference on that one. And we could Baron here. I can definitely Baron here. I'm just gonna go for it. Do I go for it? 
Of Stone Rengar. Good. Very good. They should win this fight straight up, I think. I'm just gonna do Baron Own Vision. I don't care at this point. We're fine here. My damage on Baron goes up heavily if I don't uh, take it for the debuff. Get this. We're good. All right. Let's just go walk towards this red buff right now. Yep. Where are we going? Thank you, mate. No, don't mm, go in on that. I killed him at least. Okay, mm well, I'm dead now. That guy actually went in on that. That's really stupid. I I'll follow it, though. It's fine. I kind of had to at that point. I could have walked. I probably could have walked away. But then again, Rengar was still worth shutdown gold, I believe. Was he? Uh, actually, I'm not too sure. I was worth shutdown gold at some point again there. Kassadin went too deep. He should not have gone for that guy. That Thresh was already out. Right, this is fine. I mean, this is honestly just a perfect showing of a game where if you fall behind or if you get killed early and the game is just not going too well, it's all about just that consistency of playing it out. Because now I'm in a great position. We had a very good Baron damage with the Demonic Sunfire combination. You can easily do that. I'm going Stone Plate now to avoid getting one shot. So that's really nice there. I can also go Zonias soon. Even though I think I would probably prefer... Eh... Wait, why? Alright, I don't like this, but this guy. Kind of forces me to end and also takes all my CS. Mm, maybe I should be bot lane right now. I definitely kind of need to clear top wave though. Like this is, yeah, okay, that's just dumb. Okay, god, then I'm gonna have to help him now. No, don't, just run towards me then, mate. Like, where are you actually going? Alright, this is a little grief. Not gonna lie. Very grief. Please, just let me get there for you. <sighs> do I do this? I don't even know, man. This is why it's like... <laughs> the fuck? This is actually dumb. I don't get it. If they would, I should never have flash ulted there. I think my team over aggressed. Like, why are you ever walking in a position here with your Amumu on the other side of the map? I kind of was forced to clear top wave. I, I don't know where Ezra was. He might have been dead already. And yeah, the Pike should have just ran straight towards me. The Rengar probably would have chased him, and it would have just been a free kill on Rengar. Now we'll just go for the dragon here. We can fight the Drake probably. Even though if we fight Drake here, the uh, York is probably going to TP the end. Because he definitely can. If I definitely needed to keep my flash though in the previous fight. That was a big misplay. I thought I might have enough damage, but I I got the wrong item in mind for that. Because Leandris would have would have killed them all there. But yeah. I was a bit more tanky though, I suppose. I'm just gonna go get dragon. Do I suicide for dragon here? Is that worth it? Could theoretically suicide for the dragon here. Oh god, this guy's going in. I'm gonna have to queue over this wall to get into this fight. Let's put this on. Let's put this on, keep this on. Okay, we're good. That's not too bad. I had to queue over the wall there to get there in time. Why? Oh my god, can you stop, please? Like, actually, it's not like... Uh, okay, well. They are overextending here. We have Baron in a minute here. If 
Castle refused this, I'm okay with it. Hit it then, mate. Thank you. I don't necessarily need that. Uh, how much stone plate from this point? That's almost there. I'm gonna kind of shadow my set here. Could play back up for this guy. I have a feeling Rengar might just go on him here soon. I don't have flash for like another two minutes, but... Kinda just wanna insta Baron at 40, like in 40 seconds here. And this is a little grief, not gonna lie. That's very grief. That guy literally just... Uh, okay, well, it is what it is, I guess. I got my stone plate now, at least. That's something. That, uh, just don't allow Baron. That's all I ask at this point. This is actually just a uh, interesting game. I just keep dying a lot, which is kind of fine. Other side, not really, but... It is a Rengar that got extremely fed that just keeps killing me, though, so... There is that. I think the Yorick just straight up dies the set here, which is very nice. Go, Baron. You can do it. It should just be a straight free Baron. I do get out-leveled by Rengar by two levels, but that's not a big deal, I don't think. I'm just gonna start Baron the moment I get there. They have a dead Yorick. If Set actually shows up for this, then we should be okay. We're starting this way too early. I don't like this at all. I think I just have to go for the engage here, probably. I don't understand this at all. But I'll just do a Mumu thinks it's okay. That's fine with me. We didn't have set for that fight, so this is okay. My team is definitely not making this a lot easier for me, though. There were some situations where that, the play could have just been a lot like more free and a lot safer in general. Oh, well. I got an Emptome here. I might get Void Staff, but I think I'm just going to go Zonias here in this situation. Unless there's like a tank item that I could get that could work. Um, not really. Ace. Get more armor, technically. Maybe like a Thormil could help. Thormil is the great thing about Thormil, the reflect damage is also magic damage. So, just a bunch of magic damage. Okay. I do think I'm going Zonias, though. That prevents me from taking a lot of damage in certain situations. I mean, this is perfectly fine. Like, I'm not worried about this game at all. I'm just gonna run straight to Baron and go for it, I think. If my team doesn't completely die to Rengar here, which I think they will. Uh, just that overextension, man. Once again, like, I just don't understand it. I have Flash Ult. I have Flash Ult, so this, this should just be free. Oh. I have... Just go here. I need this guy to actually go in though. Meh. Kinda shitty. Still works. They didn't get Baron. It's mostly because my team overextended for this that it's a little bit of an issue. Run, rush, Drake, please. Uh, I think at this point I may just unmute them. Because they probably like probably just keeping their mouth shut now. And actually playing the game, which is good. Alright, let's get this. I'm gonna sell this and get the stopwatch here as well. I'm buying this because this stacks up to a lot of value really, really quickly. Like, just, just, whatever you do, don't give the dragon up. Please, just don't give up dragon. Oh. You should have fought before finishing the damn dragon, man, team. Are you serious? 
why it's just it's so sad it's so unnecessary i could have just been an infernal soul but okay they tried bursting dragon completely going for a 50 50 for no reason whatsoever instead of just straight up like fighting that first but you know i'm just gonna start it i really don't care Can we, like, actually, can people actually follow this and fight? Where is my team? I'm dead here. What, what, like, what? I literally, literally win that. Like, they just didn't show up for, like, the longest time. I don't get it. I literally just don't understand it. Dude. Okay, well, it's literally a free fight. It's whatever, man. I should have zoned. I should have stopwatched there, though. Stall it longer, I guess. I got the Sandra ulted. I'm just really confused why we didn't just straight up win that fight. At the like the moment, like the the thingy, uh, whatever. It is what it is. They're playing a little bit too afraid here. If we just go in hard focus the Rengard, it's over. We should have had the Infernal Soul there, though, if they uh, actually went for the fight instead of damaging Dragon. Not sure what I'm watching right now. It's kind of sad. That doesn't have TP, actually. This is pretty bad. I don't have Flash yet, which is a little bit of a problem. I could Frontline. We just have to focus Rengar in any fight and we just win it. Do we still have a Baron? I don't think so. Nope. What a stupid game. So many silly mistakes. I stunned him before he could get over. Did he actually... Okay, let me put my shield real quick. Hey, Yorick li lived through it? Really? That is kind of special. Alright, that's a good fresh lantern right there. Let's get the inhib. We should be able to end the game here. I have ult in 20. Which is basically before Rengar spawns, so we should just be able to win the next fight easily. I still have Zonias as well. I'm gonna... Okay, that works. Unnecessary. Unnecessarily difficult, but it's fine. This is definitely not a good showing, though. If, if you get fall behind early or you get invaded or things aren't really going your way in a specific game, how to play it out. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please do make sure to hit the like button below. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.